It's hard to believe it's already been a whole week. Since I last wrote to you, we cashed in some savings and purchased a patch of safari. The rescue missions didn't let up, though. We got dispatched back to the Thunderwave Cave where we saved a Clefairy. It wasn't in the profile, but we met an Elekid with a knack for finding treasure. That skill seemed right at home with us, so we let him come along. A nice surprise toward the end of the day was that we did such a good job rescuing Clefairy that their friend Nidoran decided to join our cause. Though for me, the best part of the entire day was a search for a lost item. Trendy specs that weren't pull lost. This is what happens next. Hey everybody, it's Chugger Conroy. Welcome back to more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team DX. Last time, we visited the Oddity Cave, a brand new dungeon likely unseen before by series veterans to bolster our ranks and items. And this time, is this the place where that team named Rosethorn is based? There's nothing here. Depressing, isn't it? Yeah, who'd run a rescue team from a dump like this? Unbelievable. Who are you people? Oh, over there, a mailbox. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Now wait a second, what do you think you're doing? Eh, joke's on them. There's nothing in there besides a bunch of useless tutorial newspapers. Yes, rescue job offers. Oh la la, isn't it rather tasty? We'll have them all. Wait a second. Those belong to us. Don't butt in. <laughs> it doesn't matter who does it. We're a rescue team too, I'll have you know. But all we ever get up to is no good. Wanna know how it works? If we have the cover of a rescue team, we can get away with so much more. We have our eyes on world domination. What? World domination. <laughs> you heard right. That's why we're raking in the cash and add it to our gang. The world will be ours. The rescue team of evil. Team Meanies is who we are. See you around. <laughs> now wait a second. They're gone. What a horrible bunch. Oh no, it's empty. They took everything. We're in luck, Pelipper delivered some mail. We can go on rescue missions again with this. Those guys, they better not try anything if we see them again. Oh great, Pelipper, just what we needed, tutorials. All right, Pokemon news, we gotta talk about this. It's bad with repeating tutorials a lot. I knew that it would, oh! I mean, um, in this video that's sponsored by Pokemon news, I think that this is a wonderful product that um, I would not be recommending to you if I didn't use it myself and I really believe that you should become a subscriber. Uh, recommended linked moves, grass fighting and ground types. Uh, suggesting things that we should go for. Uh, what about Skitty, echoed voice and charge beam? I guess that would raise the special uh, attack. We could try that. Uh, what did it say for Trico? Iron tail and absorb, not sure how I feel about that. Attacks that have similar range are generally what you wanna do if you're gonna rank multiple attacking moves. It's just in this case, not so sure about that one. But I will try the charge beam thing. In fact, pretty sure that charge beam should be the one to come out first because echoed voice attacks second and that just gets powered up every time you use it. We'll do charge beam first, follow then echoed voice so that if the special attack buff goes off, it, oh, it gets applied to every echoed voice instead of just subsequent ones. And why not, or Wobbuffet, whichever you prefer. I'll try it. I've realized that it's so rare that these moves ever get used, and if an enemy actually can get close to Willow, that usually means it's a pretty dangerous foe. Could be good. Oh my god, do you see the draw distance on that tree right there? And there's only 400 obtainable Pokemon in the game? Are they even trying? 
picked up a one shop orb from Kecleon Shot. The Thunderbolt TM is for sale. <laughs> How much money do I have? That means that I can already complete my ideal skitty move set. I can afford it. Or you know what? Magnemite's good. This could go on Buzzy Bow. And then Skitty could take Blizzard so that we pass around the love a little bit. Sorry, Willow. We can't let the meanies treat us like this. Chamomile, let's do our best, like always. Alakazam's team has the gold rank. Isn't that awesome? You have a rescue team too, don't you? What's your rank? Gold rank? What? Your gold rank too? I'm not falling for a lie like that. Nothing special. I guess that's true. It might be rude to say it, but you obviously look like you really are nothing special. It just goes to show how awesome Alakazam's team is. You're atrocious. <laughs> Alakazam and his sidekicks were sure cool before. That's how a real hero has to carry themselves. By the way, apparently it's been impossible for us to evolve lately. You know how we Pokemon evolve if the conditions are right? For some reason, we haven't been able to evolve at all. It's rumored that the natural disasters are to blame, but I wonder what's going on. Do you know about the Makuhita Dojo? You know how a lot of rescue teams have been starting up to deal with all the natural disasters? There was a group of concerned Pokemon. They wanted to support rescue teams, so they got together and built the dojo. You can find the dojo easily. From here, it's just straight down this path. I am their biggest fan. You're gonna have to fight me if you want to claim to know all there is to know about them. Seeing the innocence of children at play is a good thing. Oh ho ho. When I was small, I was tiny. Oh ho ho. Oh, Chamomile and Willow. Long time no see. I have a new friend. His name is Metapod. I'm gonna call Metapod and go play in the woods. It's gonna be fun. From here, we're gonna go do some regular mundane jobs. I'll see you on the other side. Charge beam echoed voice, go! Well, it was cool in theory. Oh! Magna Magnemite! Chamomile leveled up. Willow got a level up and tried to learn Mega Drain. Absorb, suck it. Buzzy Bow got a level up and tried to learn Light Screen. I temporarily decided to replace Thunder Wave with that, since we can just relearn Thunder Wave at any time at all. From that expedition, one treasure chest contained the Stone Edge TM, that's a physical rock type move with a high critical hit chance, and an Orenberry. We've done so much that we're not even rookie rank anymore. We've become a normal rank team. Good morning, Chamomile. Let's do good again today. Chamomile, Willow. Huh? Who is that? Oh, Caterpie, how have you been? Please, please help my friend. What's the matter? I was playing with my friend Metapod, but Metapod got lost in the woods. He's still lost out there. Oh, I see, I see. That does sound bad. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Have no fear, we're here to save your chum Metapod. Wait a second, Caterpie was asking us to help. <laughs> you think you can do this rescue with your amateur level skills? What did you say? It doesn't matter who does the rescuing, see? The guy that does the rescuing gets to be the hero. Listen, Caterpie, how about we do this? How about you give the reward to the team that brings back your chum first? But I, I don't have any pee money. 
Oh, don't you worry about that, my little friend. I'm sure we can get a nice reward from you when we're done kicking. <laughs> oh yeah. You can even join our team. There's an offer you can't refuse. When you join us, Caterpie, we'll let you be a big wheel in Team Meanies. <laughs> That's the deal, Willow. The first to rescue wins. Come on, move. Let's get this done already. Don't worry about a thing. We'll rescue your friend first. Chamomile, let's get going. What should I do? I don't have any pea money and I don't want to join those meanies. Please, Chamomile, help us. I've not seen Caterpie or the other children lately. I wonder how they're keeping. Not seeing the children gives me a twinge of sadness. Every time you ever point anything out, Whiskash, something terrible happens with it. First the earthquakes, now Caterpie. Hmm. Into the world map at last. Sinister Woods is our destination for the day. Uh, but it's Caterpie. But it's inefficient. But it's Caterpie. But it's inefficient. <laughs> ah, we're doing the wrong thing. When you head out to an import on an important adventure, certain team members will be uh, will be on that adventure. They will be marked by a lock symbol. You can take Pokemon you've befriended along too. So add some reliable teammates to your team. Oh, oh it's just saying that Chamomile and Willow have to be in on this mission, and we only get to choose the third team member. Depart. This is it. Metapod is lost somewhere in these woods. Gengar's gang should already be here. We ought to hurry. Very fitting that it's called the Sinister Woods. Okay, watch this. Pseudo Widows don't behave like enemies in this forest until you actually get close and attack them. It's great! The things that they do as pseudo widow lately in games has been so funny to me. In Pokemon X and Y, there's that one horde battle where it's a bunch of Trevenant and one pseudo widow. I love it. Any sort of visual gag with pseudo widow being that way is fine by me. This is the first dungeon that has water tiles within it. First time that a water type can cross those. Um, unless both Pokemon are capable of crossing the water, then um, only that one Pokemon would be allowed to. It's not something where the entire party gains the ability. It's not like a rare trait. Those are pretty much the only things that are party-wide buffs. Usually an item, an ability, a type, all of that is specific to the Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the Charge Beam Echoed Voice right here, which is our latest linked move. Both moves cut corners and have equal range, so I think that they're quite good compared to what we have. Willow has learned Mega Drain, turning her into an absolute powerhouse. She's definitely the attacker of the group now, and I've linked uh, Iron Tail to that as you saw earlier. So definitely gonna be doing a lot of damage there. Swine up. You, uh, you know what? Yeah, let's fall in love with the swine up. Uh, what, I'm not good enough for you? Uh, oh. You froze my heart. <laughs> when frozen solid, uh, you cannot attack unless hit by a fire type move or randomly from taking damage. Again. I wish this was how fro I'm such a cute little ice sculpture, but uh, I wish this was how frozen status worked normally that the chances went up upon being attacked. It would be a good compromise and could potentially make the status less broken. Not that frozen status is really as in as, in as much need of it as sleep. Um, as frozen, there's no move that just freezes. It's only ever a secondary effect. Uh, fainted Pokemon. These are a lot like jobs, but without actually accepting them first. They happen randomly in dungeons from this point forward. Take that. This is also why I like bringing a few more apples than needed. Uh, you, okay, I'm just gonna swat at the air right there with my tail. Gotta flaunt the fact that I got a hand on the end of my tail. Go, Dragon Breath. I just became paralyzed and it's okay because you're dead anyway. Uh. <laughs> Critical hit. Anything, uh, we'll just go for the fake out. Okay, nice and easy. Poochiana can't go on because of hunger. Give him an apple. 
Punch, punch, punch. Poochyana recovered from fainting. He was moved by Rose Thorn's goodwill. Poochyana wants to tag along. Notorious healing is your rare quality. The rate at which HP restores naturally is sped up. I haven't, I haven't mentioned this yet, but HP will naturally recover in time by itself. You can also speed up this process by holding down uh, L, no, not L, not L, R, and holding the A button. You see how the enemies on the floor are moving and my belly went down very rapidly? If I was missing any kind of health, it would go back up in that situation. I'm gonna charge me back on voice just to get the extra power. You're an evolved Pokemon, so I'm willing to bet that you're a little beefier than the average Pokemon, not that we actually got to see it. And there's some new things that I've brought along in this dungeon that I'd like to draw special attention to. Anytime you wanna die, thank you. Held items. We've obtained a few of those from the jobs that we did, and I think it'd be kinda time to equip some of those to our Pokemon. For Chamomile, I brought the Fierce Bandana along, which raises the power of moves in general. That'll go on you. And for Willow, the special bandana. It looks like some kind of ball dress. Quite cute, actually. And I'm happy that these uh, items now have original designs to each one. So I'll equip those, get some power boost, even though I'm very strong already, and we'll get a move on. Furthermore, I'm taking a snooze in the middle of the... No, I'm not. Cool. Maybe I woke myself up with my own voice being loud in reaction to it. So the widow over there, uh, you can, you don't even attack me when I walk within one range of you. You might as well take these guys because you always have initiative against them even if you have to walk up to them. Dragon breath. Cool. As you saw when, uh, okay. Uh, as you saw when uh, we tried to feed that, uh, that uh, the Poochiana, I had a perfect apple in my inventory. This brings me to some unique mechanics involving belly where it is actually possible with some items to increase the maximum belly size for the duration of the dungeon. Brought this just in case we ended up needing it. This can also be achieved by eating regular or big apples when the belly is full, giving those items value whenever they're just randomly found and you don't need them. Just like with Orenberries, pick up every single apple. You never know when there might be a Pokemon waiting to join the team that you want. You never know when there is more belly to be gained out of it. Any kind of regular apple should just be expended right away even if there's no inventory space for it. Try, try not to get careless, but we mustn't be careless. Dragon breath. Paralyzed. I guess I'll walk over to you now. Signal B. I didn't even get a chance to attack you. We're that good. What does Poochiana have anyway? Tackle, howl, send, attack, and bite. Not that exciting to be perfectly frank with you. Flower shield. Defense went up. I've never seen that Pokemon move before in my life. I've played every main Pokemon game and just about every spinoff, and I've never seen that move before. I wonder if it's a remote move that isn't learned by that many Pokemon. I remember that um, it wasn't until I Let's Played uh, Platinum that I learned that Tailwind existed in Gen 4. I thought it was introduced in Gen 5 because that's when you saw it in competitive, and I think back in Gen 4, only like four Pokemon could learn it, and they weren't even good. Uh, that's a perfect apple, isn't it? That thing's huge. Take out the fake out. Quick attack. Ha mine's better. <laughs> Well, mine would be better if it hit you. Can we picked up the big apple and put it in the peepee pouch? Okay. And then we'll go up this way, get that. Still not finding any stairs. Spoke too soon. Next up, uh, oh, we got a Kecleon shop here. Behold a site that I'm willing to bet a lot of players of Mystery Dungeon missed out on. The inside of the box art. It's so adorable, and between being linked to the Nintendo eShop page directly from the demo that was available for months, and retail stores not exactly being a thing that people went to after the release of this game, I'm willing to bet a lot of people just never saw it. It's kind of a go- Ooh! I got an evolved Pokemon and it's throw an item boost! Heck yeah! Gimme! Spikes and stones are powered up. On top of that, enemies won't be able to catch items. Perfect. They can pick them up off of the ground if they miss. Well, we'll take this with us. Man, uh, the theme of this team is Pokemon that are normally terrible in the main series just uh, becoming really good here. Uh, Orenberry, Orenberry, Big Apple, Big Apple. What is this? Quick Orb. Travel speed of you and your teammates goes up for a while. Use another and you'll get even faster. Stacks. This one's a tiny reviver seed. What I've been advised to start doing, and I thank those of you that pointed this out, 
These items are pretty darn cheap. Is just take any items that are cheap and use them right away. Orenberry can raise max HP. Big Apples can raise uh, maximum belly. Merchandise is 200, I'll buy that. Thank you, my friend. I still don't trust you, man. You're nothing like those Kecleons in town who wouldn't hurt a fly. Eating the big apple to uh, restore up by 100, and then we'll eat a regular apple. 115 now, and it rolls over. Getting multiple bars of anything for the first time just makes you feel so powerful in any RPG. It's like moving on to the big leagues when you're fighting a Kingdom Hearts boss with multiple health bars or something. Uh, this way, this way, this way. He went this way. And by he, I mean me. Uh, oh, he's confused. Ran out of signal beams, but that's okay. We got a level up for me, who did absolutely nothing. All right, leveled up. I'm taking the inventory further. I'll, I'll, I'll take one of these orange berries to raise my own max HP. And it also just so happens we got two calciums to drink. I'll give one to Chamomile, one to Willow. Took the liberty of restoring Dragon Breath to full while I was at it. Way too good of a move to not be spamming all the time. You flinched? That's okay. Chico here is just part dragon, you know. A lot of potential lying within the that body. Got fake out. PP was destroyed by five because of PP badge. It'd be nice if that kicked in a little sooner, a, a little more often, I'm just saying. I don't feel like I run out of PP any less often than I already did, and I was starting to bring less of those max ethers into dungeons because I felt like I just didn't need it anymore. Oh, okay. That white spot was Kecleon. For a second, I looked at the map and I'm like, wait, we had a job on this floor? I don't remember having a job on this floor and got really scared there for all two seconds. Fake you out. Ha, huh, you know why they call it that? Because it was but a fake out for the real attacks you had to worry about that you didn't see coming. Ha ha. We have a Rossberry, a lot of enemies. Oh, that's going to be Lediba, isn't it? Yep, it is. I gotta face the beast sooner or later. Yeah, I'll wake up at the same time and they have moves that are super annoying. Charge beam echo voice to hit all of them next to me, please. Good. And good, they're actually in a really good formation to hurt. Swift, not bad. Hwa! Ta! Apparently I didn't say anything. <laughs> it missed two of them because I didn't say anything and aw, oh, she's in love with me. There you go. And there's that, making up for all the damage I didn't do and that's good because we got a level up. Willow this time, getting plus two speed. Good, you leveled up. Gonna keep going. Another fainted Pokemon on this floor. We already have a Poochiana. I'm not really in the mood to collect them. Uh, gotta pick up the Big Apple. I'm kind of surprised at how well the Ladybugs went before, so you know what that means. I'm gonna test my luck and immediately regret it. Super. S oh no, this is what I'm talking about. Oof. Won't be able to control the direction it moves or travels. It moves may even hit its own teammates. The effects of items change. For instance, if a health orb, if you use a health orb, enemies might get healthy too. So it's not a good idea to use items, not a good idea to use moves. I think the only logical thing to do when confused is just move until you go in a direction other than the one the enemies are going. If you're gonna run into a wall, it doesn't allow you to move, so there's nothing to really be lost from doing that. Pound, okay. If I could stop being confused right about now, that'd be very helpful. Nobody adjacent to me, so let's try. Nope. Wasted two PP. Oh, no, I didn't waste the second PP, never mind. That's a lot of turns to stay confused, ouch. This is where the, this is where the big money is, or the little money is uh, reality would dictate. Poochiana can't go on because of hunger. Give you, uh, let's give you. There isn't any known difference for giving a larger apple, but I think I'll just give it a big apple for karma's sake. Maybe just see if the good comes my way. They always have rare qualities that has no bearing on it at all. You have tight formation for yours. The more team members there are nearby, the lower the damage will be when Pokemon are hit by wide ranging moves such as Magnitude. Can be good. Uh, just call me Spin Master because this is a game and I'm spinning all around, I guess. 
That's gotta be the worst pickup line in history. Ouch. Gonna go up this way, get under the stairs like I should have gone in the first place. Floor nine, and it's not over yet. These dungeons are getting quite long, getting to be an endurance run. I'll take that. Take that as well. There's the stairs, and we got a scyther over there. Fake out. You're stunned? He never got to know life again. One thing he knew he was awake, the next moment he knew he was, oh no, 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 I am not going on, I am not going on. Linoon is an exceptional Pokemon. Recruit it if you can. I'm actually gonna stay on this floor for a little bit and see how I do, because if we can get Linoon to join us, that's one of the strongest Pokemon we could conceivably have. Exeggutor, that's the other Pokemon that's really good to recruit around these parts. Come on, Skitty, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, don't kid, no, don't, no, no. I have to be the one to beat it to have any chance. Exeggutor and Lionoon are found on the same floors and they're so good. Let's do a fake out. That's all I have, no! You fool! Shroomish developed a kinship. Level up for Chamomile once again. Double slap! Bye bye, fake out. We don't need you anymore. That is our new bread and butter move. Level up for Buzzy Bow. About time, Buzzy Bow. Buzzy Bow, knocking out Letty Buzz in one shot now. Look at you. Oh, something stirring. When wind blows in a dungeon, head straight for the stairs. If you stay on the floor too long, you'll get blown away by the wind and fail your adventure, so keep moving. This is to prevent people like me from camping an objective. Let me switch over to Camomile really quick, just so I'm on her. Or on him, sorry, on him. <laughs> Gosh, now I'm calling myself Emily. Oh hey, Executor, looks like we are getting to camp an objective today. Are you ready for this? You ready to see double slap in action? Look at this. <laughs> I guess we're, oh, that Shroomish was an owl. <laughs> sorry, buddy, I forgot you weren't trying to kill me anymore. You know, we've been enemies for roughly as much time as we haven't been. It's just hard to get used to. Leech Seed. Our HP will slowly glo uh, grow, uh, go down. Uh, kept adding sounds where there were none. Grass-type Pokemon will not get the status. Now double slap on the right, Shroomish. 26, 32. Hi. That's just two hits. How do we go for more? Oh, uh, Buzzy Bone noticed a team member had been paralyzed. But I think I'm gonna say no to it. We have this in the bag. Okay, tiny reviver seed. That's definitely good. I need to, I need to do this because I want to keep playing as chamomile. Regular apple will suffice. I need to spend the big guns on it. It's not a Poochiena after all. Wand. Wands have different kinds of effects as we've seen before. There is that slumber wand. This one is a slumber wand. You know what it does. Level up for Willow, level 15. All right, I know when I'm bested. This is just getting to be too much. That Pokemon's going away from us. We're down to six belly. I wanna keep playing as Chamomile. So I'm just gonna go on to the next floor. Well, I guess there's no reason that I can't at least do the walking as Willow. Hello, no, 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 no. It's as soon as I go off of Chamomile, we run into an Exeggutor and what happens? Uh, it's okay, I'll be more prepared for the next one, Hoot Hoot. I don't care about you, Hoot Hoot, I'm sorry. You're a cool Pokemon, you really are. You're just not what I'm after right now. Uh, Eep. Eep is right. Uh, Chamomile, you got this one, bud, right? Knew I could count on you. It's down here, Hoot Hoot again, okay. Well, I'm prepared for this. Come on up to me. There that goes. And then what's down here? Slack off and a Scyther. 
I'm gonna approach from this side, wake him up. Thunderbolts! Slackoth is another special Pokemon in that it will not awaken until attack. Doesn't matter if there's movement next to it. We got something big here. We got something big here. And it's not even Alolan. I don't know why I sounded like a diner lady who's been smoking. No! What are you? My own ability screwed me! Fine, I guess I won't have the crown jewels. Eh, we'll be back through here again anyway to do jobs and our chances of recruitment will probably be higher by then. Floor 12. Another fainted Pokemon on this floor. Ooh, far-fetched. Well, if we're going off of the whole theme of having a team of misfits who normally aren't good but suddenly are, that one might be able to join us. He's in confusion. Didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it worked. Eep is right once again. Okay, quick attack saves the day. And then over this way, we have a Shroomish. Take that Leech Seed, gonna use that, please. I'm very nervous right now, actually. I really, really want to get the Executor or the Lion but I'm only gonna let it happen organically at this point, just because of how Low on resources, we're running, yeah, baby, come on! Quad week, quad week! Uh, wasn't enough. It was within two squares of me, too, so that did have a chance of recruiting. Man, imagine being the Pokemon on the receiving end of that ability and just how unfair that would look. <laughs> just like, okay, I can take an attack from one guy. Whoops, suddenly he transformed into a dog and then transformed into another dog and then transformed into a goddamn mushroom and now I got my ass kicked by the mushroom. <laughs> Come over this way, uh, gonna go over there. Nope. Magnemite's not able to cross the water as uh, it doesn't have levitate for its ability. I can see maybe at a glance somebody would think that it does, but it does not. We don't have any Pokemon with, with us that can do that. Signal Beam, go! Uh, signal Beam, go! Missed. No! Why? <laughs> I've never thought I'd be so upset to no good moves. Every time. Every single time. We have Graveler Rocks. I swear I brought some along. Indeed I do. Might as well get those grass types out of that bad situation. Good. Over here, and this is where the fainted Pokemon is at long last. Starting to believe you were just a myth or that you actually succumbed to the hunger. Farfetch'd can't go on, giving you an apple. Farfetch'd! Recovered from the fainting. Farfetch'd was moved by Team Rosethorn's goodwill. Farfetch'd wants to tag along. Sales pitch is your uh, is your ability. Uh -huh. A rare quality, sales pitch. Items can be sold at a higher price to shops in dungeons. Interesting. That could be kind of good. Not quite the ability that I've wanted to show that has to do with money, but still a good one. Uh, sure, signal beam, I guess. Just to get it a little bit more damage. And then we'll do a Thunderbolt, and then that'll not be it, we got Thunderbolts uh, upgraded. All right, Gengar, you ready for this angry mob? I hope Gengar's actually on the next floor so my taunt works. Yes, the screen's black. Wow, we came all quite a ways into this forest. Are you sure? This looks like right back where we started. I wonder if Metapod is ahead. Hold it right there. <laughs> you know who's gonna get to Metapod first? We are. So, for you to go ahead. Well, we can't let that happen. What? Now, hold on, Gengar. Why do you always interfere with us? Oh, didn't we tell you? Our aim is world domination. We'll take whatever reward we can get from Caterpie, and Caterpie will join us too. That brings us closer to our goal. <laughs> and for that, you lot are in the way. So sorry to say, but your party's over right here and now. Say goodbye, Willow. You seriously think a Caterpie is going to help you achieve world domination? I'd expect no less from anybody calling themselves Team Meanies and expecting that to sound intimidating. A one-shot orb defeats all enemies in a single shot in the same room. I don't believe that works on bosses. At least I hope it doesn't. So instead, I'm gonna show you another aspect of orbs being really good in boss fights. A faux hold orb. 
All petrified, essentially paralyzed. Oh, condition heal that in a few returns. So we didn't get the full extent of that, unfortunately, but orbs can indeed be very powerful under certain circumstances. And you know what I'm gonna do? Let's just shut down Gengar outright. He's already confused. Let's make him even more confused by why he suddenly has feelings for me. <laughs> I love it. Just beating, oh boy, oh geez. Uh, okay, uh, this bad, this really bad. Uh, you're in considerable pain, we can't have that. So items can't be used on those guys, right? Because they're temporary recruits, yes? Oh no, they can, they can. You have three HP, uh, how badly do I want a Sunflora? I'm no better than Gengar. I'm weighing what its rare quality is and how badly I want to keep my reviver seats. <laughs> Throne item boost. It's useful. I probably won't be bringing it along too much. Uh, Gengar is pretty well shut down, so... Uh, wait, Sunflora noticed its own HP was low. Okay, fine. If you're gonna heal yourself, then go ahead. I just wanted to get into a better position so we could take out Ekans. Use an absorb there. Sealed. One or several moves have been sealed. Pokemon can't use sealed moves. This will go away on the next floor. Too bad for us. There is no next floor. Gosh, it just sounds like we're gonna die to Team Meanies right here. I, oh, Ekans is already in love with me. Great, I can just beat the crap out of him now because he likes it. Go! Good. And I get to use it twice, too. All of that's fine and good, but how about we try doing double slap on a boss? Any moment you guys want to stop showing off, it's my turn to show off. Confusion. Uh, lick. Uh, man, everyone just getting in on that Sunflora action. Double slap, look at that! I just love the idea. Sunflora noticed that Sunflora's health was low, which Sunflora liked to heal Sunflora's HP. Can't be any other Pokemon, not Shroomish that's right next to it. Metacham. Okay, Metacham was not gonna survive that. That's, no, that's just fine. Uh, how about, I can't switch with Sunflora because the status is, um. None of these moves are gonna hit you from this distance, Gengar. So, am I just gonna watch Gengar fall? Uh, yeah, I am. Ow, 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 ow. You'll pay for this. Don't you forget it. <laughs> Ekans running is a gift from the gods. <laughs> No one should hold us back now. Let's find Metapod. Um, excuse me. Did you maybe come looking for me? You must be Metapod. Let's get you home. Caterpie was worried about you. Yay. I was so scared, so I kept my shell hardened and waited. And waited. Thank you. This is great. Welcome back, Metapod. Thank you, Caterpie. And thank you, Willow and Chamomile. But I don't have any pee money. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need a reward. We're happy to see that Metapod is back safe and sound. I want to go on rescues when I grow up. <laughs> that would be great. Chase that dream. I have an idea. Chamomile, why don't we do something right here? We should make a proper rescue team base here. Something impressive. That's cool. A rescue team base is cool. I want to work here when I grow up. Me too. Me too. <laughs> That's what we'll do. We'll be sure to build our own rescue team base. Chamomile and Willow, thank you again. Okay, bye. Uh, be careful going home. <sighs> well, we ended up working for free, but that was the right thing to do. And we got to show Gengar's team a thing or two, so it's all good. That was a tiring day. Let's do some more good tomorrow. See ya.